Hey Collective, I'm back y'all. So I'm here shuffling cards, getting ready to do a collective read. And this card just flew out the deck. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Somebody is wondering if you are happy without them. Somebody just got to know, like, are you happy without me? Somebody wants to know if you are happy without them. Wow. Okay. You were the best thing in my life. That had to be confirmation. Did y'all just hear that? <laughs> you were the best thing in my life. You came closer than anyone. And I love you unconditionally. I love you unconditionally. But I knew exactly what I was doing. And I wish I could take back my words. So they did something. They intentionally hurt you. For whatever reason. They keep replaying the conversation over and over in their minds. Like It's like something that's a constant reminder and they know it was their fault and they blamed you and they know they messed everything up they know they messed everything up they feel they feel you even though you're not physically there they're still trying to cling on to your energy um but they did they lost their self they lost their self now they want to come to you and tell you how they feel that they wish that they had treated you better. <laughs> so, the first card is significant because the way that it just flew out the damn deck, it was like, I'm shuffling, and then it's just like, yeah, boom, this. So, this is the energy that we're going to, we're going to keep this energy here. Until we find out more. Um, let me see what else they want to say. They want to know if you found somebody better than them. So this person dealing with their ego. It says, my ego is loud, but I'm listening to my soul. I'm striving for spiritual en enlightenment. So their ego got the best of them. <laughs> this person could have blocked you. It says, I'm sorry for blocking you. I was triggered. They could have physically blocked you uh, like from calling them or contacting them, or they could have completely blocked you out. Yeah, they're saying, leave me alone, please. So they wanted, <clears throat> they wanted space. They didn't want to be bothered with you. They blocked you. They didn't want to be bothered with you. Now they're sitting up here wondering if you're happy. This is confirmation. If you're happy with somebody else. Are you going to listen to me? So it looks like this person is going to be contacting you. It's going to be reaching out to you to see if. Look, this person is saying, I really miss you. My heart hurts. So this person is missing you. It ain't getting no better. It ain't getting no better. Okay, so now this person reaching out to you, telling you that they miss you, but they let their ego get in the way, and that's that's they bad. <laughs> they let their ego get in the way. Mm. They let their ego get in the way. Now they miss you. Y'all know we have all this retrograde energy. So some people are returning from the past. Things that were left open. Things that didn't get any real closure. It just like ended. Y'all split. Y'all went y'all separate ways. And then there was no contact after that. 
those wounds are still open. Okay. How does this person feel about the collective? They feel like you just real calm. Like you might be at home chilling. You might be at home. You're comfortable. You're relaxed and calm. So this person feel like they want to come to you when you're calm. When you're in like chill mode. So they their intentions is to come towards you, but they want to make sure that you're calm first. So they might reach out, peek out to see what you, how you're feeling about them coming back around. Um, and you might be giving them like, you know, this calm energy. Yeah, see, they're they when the when this cycle ended with you and this person, it ended real tense. There could have even been tears. Somebody was crying because they felt guilty. Okay, so this person could have actually closed this chapter because things were getting too tense. The pressure was folding in on them and somebody was crying. They even could have cried. You could have been crying. It was real, real tense. But the fact of it is, is they knew that they were guilty. They knew that they was guilty. They've been feeling guilty about it since it ended. And see, they gonna come around because they they miss you because they miss this energy. See, this person got a fetish. This person got some type of addiction towards you. This person wanna see you in this energy. Yeah, see, they wanna come over. They wanna come over to try to clear the air. But they being super cautious. Cautious because they know that your guard is gonna be up. And really, they over here lonely and sad and shit. But, you know, mm-mm. Mm -mm, now they want to come around to try to get some. Nah. <laughs> I ain't wrong for that. They may come to you talking about they want to get married. And they want to take things to the next level. But yeah, they coming over to They want to come over to your home. This is only if, you, if some of y'all are allowing this person to come towards you. But they're coming. They finna drive right on over there. They coming over there. They coming over there to your house. But they gonna be trying to get this playful, get you to play with them, this playful energy. Because they want you to get them some. I'm saying so some of y'all may, you know, y'all might get together, chill. Um, I'm getting this person could be feeling a little anxious. They may um, smoke or drink, but they're coming. They are coming. They ride right on over there. You see the little bus? Toot toot. <laughs> Here they come. They coming. Only if you allow it. If you allow, if you open up the door for them, they're coming. They're going to be coming towards you with, oh, I want to get married. They tell you this just to get in your space. They're telling you this stuff just to get into your space. This person ego, this person got an ego issue. Okay? Look at this camera. They could have been watching you too. Um... I feel like this person can't sleep because they feel guilty that they caused you some type of pain. I see a lot of like, some of y'all gonna let this person in. Okay, some of y'all are gonna let this person in. And it's gonna be a lot of like chilling, laughing, hee hee ha, that type of energy. Um, and it looks like this person really could be stressed okay they got some family issues going on they want to uh clear that they 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 trying to escape i get escape energy because they got some things going on in their own lives they're trying to bring that energy towards you to help clear their head okay they don't want you to speak about them they don't want you to tell nobody about what you and them got going on they just lonely they lonely right now. And bored. <laughs> and bored. Ain't got nothing else to do. Um, they're worried. They could be feeling worried that you may get emotional or you may put your emotions 
into this when they come towards you and get attached. They don't hate nothing about you. They appreciate you. But I told you, they this person is like a loner. They seem like they're the one who has some type of attachment towards you. Um, but they're trying to portray it like you're the one that's super duper attached. But it looks like they have some type of attachment to you. When they get lonely, they feel like they come towards you for sex, for a warm place to lay their head and laugh and hee hee ha. And when they're bored, they want to chill. Hmm. I don't like this energy. Let's see what else. Let's see what this person's intentions are. And how they're going to be coming towards you. I definitely do not like, I don't like, I don't really care for their energy. Show me how this person is coming towards my collective. They defensive. <laughs> they defensive. Very. They gonna be being manipulative. They gonna be trying to manipulate you. Manipulate you into having sex. Manipulating you into having sex. Um, just like I said, this person is selfish. They're self-centered. Could be a cancer. Um, they're coming towards you. But the thing about it is, is they got some secrets. They got some things that they hide. They could be trying to... Uh, they could have been... Um, back off for a while because it looks like they was trying to invest or they was uh, waiting for some money to fall through or waiting for something to come through financially before they came to you. But what's the, why is the moon here? This person ain't got nothing going on. They could be... This person feels like you're not going to ask them for nothing. They feel like you're not going to ask them for nothing. I'm here. Don't ask them for nothing because I ain't got no money. That's what I'm hearing. Um, This person could be going through some financial issues themselves. Um, I feel like they just decided that they're just going to take the risk and just come towards you. They may have reached out to you or they are getting ready to reach out to you. Okay, they ain't ready to reach out to you. They're coming towards you for sure. They're going to come try to make things right. I told you this person may come towards you and tell you like, oh, I want to get married. Let's get married one day. We're going to get married one day. Um, We're going to do this. But they're coming towards you to try to uh, make things right with you. Yes, I'm definitely getting Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. 
They know that you're the best thing. They know that you're the cream of the crop. They know that you're the cream of the crop. They regretted how they regretted closing this chapter with you previously, but they ready to come in now. Now they feel they're gonna be telling you, "I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I'm ready now." But the thing about it is, is this person may have quite a few different options that they've been running around playing with. Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. They've been running around playing, dibbling and dabbling with people in their past. Um, definitely here with the Six of Cups. They may have somebody that's stuck on them. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But they don't really want a relationship with this person. They want a relationship with you. Um, I'm getting that. I'm hearing that too. So the secret is, is, the secret is, is that, the secret is, is that they been messing with somebody, dealing with people from their past, dibbling and dabbling. They got somebody that's stuck on them that they don't want to be in a relationship with. Um, and now they're coming towards you. Yeah. So they're surprised that you even will respond to them. Because I feel like they're getting ready to reach out to you. And you, some of you going to respond they're so surprised and they feel like they get in their chance again. They get another chance. They get another shot. They about to block. They're blocking whoever this other female is. They're blocking them. So they're getting tired of running around and playing with them. And they know that how they treated you wasn't fair. It wasn't right. And they feel like they get another shot. They get another shot with you. And they're blocking this other energy. But the thing about this is, they coming in as a knight. They coming in as a knight. So this person is not, be just be cautious with this person. Be cautious with this person because this person is real flighty. This person is real flighty. They there one minute and they gone next minute. They not they there for a good time, not a long time. This person be running away from love is what I'm getting. Could be a Leo. Yep. And this person be running away from love. This person kind of like give me like loner vibes. Like they are very like introverted. Like they kind of stick to themselves. They don't really like a lot of attention and stuff like that. Um, and they they will slow things down if they feel like it's getting too deep. Um, so it looks like they're afraid of love. <laughs> it looks like they're afraid of love. And they it they wishy washy. They don't they want to be there one minute and then the next day they don't want to be there. So this this is just the type of person that this is just the type of person that this person is. They haven't grown past that. They haven't grown past that yet. This is just how this person is. It's not a good trait about them at all. They know that they like this. They may come to you and tell you that they think that y'all should just be real good friends for now. Um, they having regrets. They have regrets. Um, they had time to think about it. They been one. They're gonna be like, "Oh, I've been wanting to call you. I've been wanting to reach out to you." But really, what was going on and is what was going on is that they were seeing somebody else, a few people. But they come around to play mind games and for sex, okay? So, that's the message that I got for the collective. If this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the like button, comment below, and share with your family and your friends. You never know who may need it. All right? Ciao for now.